Hey guys, this is your girl. Um, I wanted to put up a rant video because I haven't, A, I haven't done one in a while. And B, I just recently saw something that disturbs me. Now, I thought I was done talking about these people until the end of their court case, until the end of the hearings, until everything was done. But for some odd reason, I just keep being drawn back to Mike and Heather Martin. Yes, Daddy05. I was watching the Philip DeFranco show today. And I was disturbed to see that... And he was making light of this, and God bless him for it, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. He was making light of the fact that he got threats from the Daddy 5 fans, saying that, oh, he's only... Uh, the Franco is out to put down good YouTube channels. So you people, doesn't matter what age you are, and if you're a parent of a child that age, you should be ashamed of yourself because you're promoting child abuse. If you're a child over the age of, say, 10, you darn well know better. <clears throat> you want him to have custody of his children so he can keep abusing them. How much sense does that make? I'm sorry, but me being the mother of three children, one of them being special needs. I could never see myself putting my hands on my children in violence. Never. It breaks my heart when I see my kids cry. It breaks my heart that my kids get bullied because their mother is biracial. <clears throat> it breaks my heart that they get bullied when people say, "Why did a black? Uh, why did your mom marry your dad? She's black. He's white." Da, 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 da. Not realizing that I'm half white too. Anything that hurts my children hurts my soul. You know what I'm saying? It hurts me in my soul. And me being a mother, it disgusted me to see people who called themselves parents pranking kids violently, violently, just so they could get views. Just so they could get views I do YouTube because it gives me something to do I'm I'm a disabled woman I'm at home most of the time my legs thank you kiddo that's my son I love him to death say hi Connor hey he just graduated high school I'm so very proud of him I got a high school graduate y'all um, um, can I, can I tell, can I tell McJuggernuggets? No, I don't talk to McJuggernuggets in my videos. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Go on. Oh. I'll talk to you in a bit. Did, it, did you talk? I read it, I read it out, and I showed it to Pop. Okay? Okay. So All right. The fighters in Tekken, right? Yep. Right now, my son 
is all about his YouTube channels, but he doesn't want to film unless it's online, which is okay by me. I do it for fun. I do it for something to do. It gets me busy other than knitting, which matter of factly, I have a couple of pro knitting projects I have to finish. Um, and I'm a, midi a mediocre knitter at that, so. <sighs> um, but I would never put my, ha my hands on my children in violence more or less push their heads into a bookcase, more or less let their brothers and sisters kick them in their privates, smash their possessions. I mean, my kids have everything they could ever want. TVs, up, 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 game consoles, computers, tablets. All three of my children have Amazon Fires. Food, shoes, clothes, animals. The one animal I'm dreading getting is a bunny. I don't want the bunny, so I don't think we're going to get the bunny. Just saying. But I don't see how somebody in their right mind could do that to their child just so they can make money off YouTube. I'm not making money off of YouTube. I monetize my videos, yes I do. But look at the amount of views I have. Go into my channel, look at all of my videos, they tell you how many views I have. I have maybe in the past year, the one video that got me the most views was a Daddy 05 video and that was made a month ago. Over a month ago, almost two months ago. And I didn't make money over that. It's monetized, but I didn't make money over that. In order for you to make money off of your videos, you have to have buku minutes watched. And in the lifetime of my channel, I've got maybe 4,000 viewed minutes. I'm not making money. I do this for fun. I do this to share my enthusiasm for video games. I do this to show my enthusiasm for subjects that I care strongly about. I do this to show my passion for my family. That's all. If I happen to make money, I happen to make money. But I don't see that happening within the foreseeable future. This is a hobby for me. I'm 45 years old. I broke myself working three jobs to put food on the table for my family. My husband broke himself fighting for this country. We love our children. We would never abuse them. But for Philip DeFranco to, to Jack, come here. For Philip DeFranco to break a story about child abuse, sit down, baby, and then get threats over it. It's ridiculous to me. He has gotten threats on his life. He's The people have threatened to call CPS on him to have his kids taken away. What for? Can you prove that he's abused his kids? No, you can't. That is a hard-working man making his money the way he knows how. Doing the news. Does that make any sense to you, to you Jack? Do, do, do you think that the Daddy 05 fans should threaten anybody speaking out on it? No. 
And as long as they don't have proof of it, and they don't know what's going on, and why they brought up this story on their channels, then no. There is a dedicated Sorry. private Facebook page out there that, <clears throat> excuse me, that Daddy05 fans can go and sign up for and subscribe or, or follow on Facebook and I have my kids going on it. No, I'm not letting them. Will my kids go on it? No, they're not interested. I don't do Facebook. So. Not yet. I still use your Facebook for games. Exactly. <laughs> that way I can monitor what's going on on her Facebook. Because it's my Facebook. That's why. I can monitor what's going on on her Facebook because it's my Facebook. She goes on to my Facebook and checks it. Okay? She uh, is 13 years old. Excuse me. She is not getting a Facebook until she's 15, 16 years old. Nope. She can watch YouTube all she wants. She has a YouTube channel. But guess what? Any comments that she gets on any of her videos, she brings to me first because that way I can read them, I can vet them out, and I can only put and I can put up the ones that I think she can are appropriate for her to read. This is my child. I'm not letting anybody out there hurt my child. My husband has gone out and fought for this country, and I dare somebody to say he needs to have his kids taken away. No, baby. For what? Daddy 05 fans have taken this way too far. Now you're threatening the life and livelihood and family of somebody that just broke a story. That story was given to him. By somebody who said, hey, you need to check this out. Go and look at the initial story that Philip DeFranco did on Daddy 05. He openly said that somebody sent this to him and said, hey, you need to check this out. He never said he broke the story. I know who broke the story. Nick Mon. <gasps> but come on now. Stop drinking my coffee. There's nothing in it. Exactly. Stop drinking my coffee. Okay. Child drinks my caffeine. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. You're on YouTube. Remember that. Put it down. <laughs> Don't. I will tickle the back of your head. Don't. Don't. You remember what the back of happened, like, the back Friday. of her head is very ticklish. And Friday, I put my Thir finger. The thirteenth. I put my finger right on her on her ponytail and I tickled the back of her head and she freaked out. She thought something was <laughs> crawling on the back. So. <laughs> this is what I did. I was like... But... I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this just once. Yes, there's a mess behind me. But I'm going to say this just once. Y'all need to leave Philip DeFranco alone. Daddy has coffee. Why? Because. Why because. Mike and Heather Martin brought this on themselves. Do you want your own? 
I'm gonna go find something. Go ahead. Mike and Heather Martin brought this on themselves. Mike and Heather Martin didn't throw a child or did no. Mike and Heather Martin, they did, I'm sorry. Mike and Heather Martin threw a child in into a home where it was a free for all. Emotional abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse. It was a free for all. Philip DeFranco didn't push a child into a bookcase. Philip DeFranco didn't let his stepchildren kick his child in the private part. Philip DeFranco didn't let his stepchild smack his child full force. And how we say in Philly, he came from down south and slapped this girl across the face. Philip DeFranco didn't do that. Philip DeFranco didn't let his wife, the stepmother of his children, prank them and then cuss them out six ways from Sunday, halfway up to God's heaven. Philip DeFranco didn't do that. Mike and Heather Martin did. Mike and Heather Martin need God. They need Jesus. Seriously, they need Jesus. Because, in my opinion, no Christian, no true Christian would do something like that. Not to a child. No. Children should be nurtured. Sh children should be given morals and taught how to act not abused and I don't care what anybody says you can threaten me all you want you come for me no big deal you come for my kids then you'll have a problem But Mike and Heather Martin didn't think about that when they put up that video where Heather was cussing at Cody like he was a co-worker or somebody who had cussed her out or had scratched her car. Mike Martin didn't think about that when he took Cody and pushed him into a bookcase. So, I want to say this, and I'm going to end it because, frankly, I'm starting to get a headache over this whole Daddy 05 thing. Can I use your Alexa? You Daddy 05 people, fans, need to stop. Stop threatening people. Stop threatening people. Why? Because it wasn't the it was not Philip DeFranco who did all this. It was Mike and Heather Martin. Leave Philip DeFranco alone. Plus, on top of that, you're videotaping yourself threatening Philip DeFranco. And oh wow, <clears throat> if the police do get their hands on that tape, which <clears throat> yes, wow, it's on YouTube and all. That if they get back to you, they're considered terroristic threats. And in the United States, after 9-11, terroristic threats can get you anywhere between one and three years in jail. So, threaten all you want, but if you get caught, you can go to jail. And it's a federal offense. It's a federal offense now since 9-11. So, stop, stop threatening Philip DeFranco. He's not the one that put the camera in Mike Martin's hand and... and took Mike Martin's other hand and pushed Cody into a bookcase. It is not Philip DeFranco that put a camera on a tripod and told Mike Martin, Martin tell your kids they're going to do the bottle, bottle flip challenge and whoever loses, have the other one slap him across the face. 
Philip DeFranco did not do that. Mike and Heather Martin did. It's like no, no, like Philip DeFranco didn't tell you to. Oh, take a camera, cover your face, and threaten me on camera. He didn't do that. You did. So all you Daddy O Five fans, mm, not all of them. Y'all need to stop. Seriously. You want to Y'all need to stop. No, hold on, man. On this argument, the Daddy O Five fans that want to support Daddy O Five. Support them. The ones that want to get violent or threatening, y'all need to stop. Jimmy. But the rest of you Jimmy. need to also go back and look. All of you need to go back and look. If you were raised that way, then you're not going to see it. But if you weren't raised that way, it's going to seem Thank you. to anybody else that it could be child like abuse. What happened to you? So, plain and simple, if it looks like, sounds like a duck, it must be a duck. So if it looks like and it sounds like child abuse, quack, quack, it might be child abuse. That's not for you and I to decide. That's for a court to decide. But as an adult, with children of my own, if it looks like child abuse and sounds like child abuse, damn Skippy, I'm going to call somebody and say, hey, you need to look into this. Ask my husband what I told him if I ever caught him abusing our children. My ass be dead. Plain and simple. Would you be able to find what was left of me? No. As... My mother would say, you do something to my children, you, won't, you won't, will never see the light of day. I'm not going to... Not without messing with all That's... No. I live by one motto when it comes to my children. I live by a bunch of mottos, believe me. I have mottos that I repeat constantly in my head. They're my mantras. But when it comes to my children, I live. There's only one thing that I say to my in my head when it comes to my children. It is my divine animal right to defend the uh, my life and the life of my offspring. Well, I don't play it. Mike and Heather Martin did not defend their offspring. They assaulted their offspring. You know what's even worse? I won't even say they assaulted them. I won't even say they abused them. That's like three weeks ago. They used them? As a means to a paycheck. Yeah. In my opinion. You that's, know. that's even But that's worse. my... Look, look. My opinion. They used them as a means to a paycheck. That's even worse than a That's means. worse. I mean, that would be like anybody else... Sending their boyfriend or their girlfriend or their husband and their wife out on the street saying, Go lay on your back and make me money. Nope. Doing it on YouTube. And I'm not saying that that's, you know, you basically doing it on, you know, making videos on YouTube where you get a big number of hits where you're getting a paycheck. Where you're basically. And I'm going to say it, where you're basically abusing your kids to make money. Does that make sense? You want, if you want to make money on on YouTube, you do it the old-fashioned way. You work hard at it. Simply put, you work hard at it. This, Doug and I, we do it as a hobby for fun to give you some kind of insight into our world. If it takes off, it takes off. If it doesn't... Oh, well. We're still going to do it. We play games. We talk about things that we're passionate about. We show our family because we're passionate about our family. We're protective of our kids. And we're proud of our kids. So... Are we going to videotape us, uh, us abusing our children? No, because we don't abuse our children. Are we going to 
videotape our 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 kids' accomplishments and honors? Yes. Absolutely. If our kids want to do something like oh, I don't know, um last what was it, last year or the year before? They wanted to do the ALS ice bucket challenge. Mm -hmm. Now, go I didn't back, I didn't back. I didn't think it was because of their age and stuff like that. I didn't think they should be doing it, but they wanted to, so okay, fine. Go back on my Facebook. You'll see me doing it. We did it. You know, we didn't put it on YouTube. We put it on Facebook, but, you know. I didn't have my YouTube running at that so, time. So, you know, I mean, if our kids want to do something, we look into it. Is it something that's, you know, safe for them to do? Is it something that is, um... You had a piece of tobacco on your back, dude. Mm. <laughs> is it something that's safe for them? Is it something that's, <coughs> you know, not going to get them hurt in any shape, form, or fashion? If as long as it's if it's our criteria for that not them not getting hurt, we do it. Now if somebody if somebody we know says, Hey, I think your kids could get hurt and this is why I think, then we'll reevaluate. And you know what? Okay, you know what? I think maybe you might be right on that one, so um Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. But we're not just gonna and we're not gonna verbally abuse our kids. We're not going to pull a prank on them and start cursing them out left and right over a prank that we pulled on them. No. That they're going to get upset about. I mess with my kids all the time. That's that, But when they ooh. start getting upset, eh, stop. I was messing around. It went if too I, far. If I, if I went too far with it, I apologize. I'm sorry. Do I film that? No. Why? Because... I can't say when when me when me and my kids messing around is gonna happen. I can't say, oh well, we're gonna do this. It just happens sometimes. I mean, it's like this. What we film on our channels are the things that we're passionate about. Uh, passionate about. We're passionate about our video games. Right now, it's Seven Days to Die. Doug and I are thoroughly addicted to that game. I won't say addicted. I'm addicted to it. I will not say addicted because we actually, right now, are we playing Seven Days to Die? No, no. because both of us are tired. Oh, well, not even that. It's just... <laughs> your child snatched your Xbox? But at this point, Sorry. we have Seven Days to Die on both of our Xbox Ones and on our on our PCs. So that that must tell you that we're passionate about this game. Are we passionate about other games? Yes, I was playing that out of some Overwatch earlier. Asked my husband, I woke him up, screaming at the screen. <laughs> and that's after I was up most of the night. Yeah, Doug has bad reflux, like I do. His is actually worse than mine. And he had upset tummy and was vomiting a good part of the night. So, yeah. But I would never put my children in harm's way. Never. Never, ever, ever. And as far as I'm concerned, Mike and Heather Martin did. So you daddy old five uh, fans that want to threaten Philip DeFranco, go ahead. You'll just find yourselves on the long, uh, wrong end of the law if your identities are ever discovered. Those of you who want to support Mike and Heather Martin the right way, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Am I going to come after at you? No. Because it's your opinion. You, it's your right. It's your right to defend him, but to th but for those who are threatening Philip DeFranco, come on, very hard. use your common sense. Use your common sense. Um, I've said my piece. 
I'm done. I don't have anything more to say on this. Hopefully the next time I talk about that EO5 will be when all of this is over and we can say Rose has permanent uh, custody of the kids. But until then, nobody knows what's going on in that courtroom. I don't. I don't live in Maryland. I live in Philly. I don't talk to Rose. I occasionally talk to people, but nobody of any consequence that <laughs> is able to be in the courtroom. So, um... But the next time I talk to any or talk to anybody about Daddy O Five, it'll be the end of the subject, end of the situation, and hopefully, it's a good ending. It's a happy ending for once. In, in, in either direction. <laughs> mm -hmm. In either direction. Yeah. So. With that, I'm going to end it. Please. There's your armor. Let's use some common sense. Stop threatening people for other people's pitfalls. Stop threatening people for other people's faults. And stop threatening people for other people's wrongs. There's no need for it. It makes no sense. And let's try to reaffirm my faith in humanity. And with that, I'm going to end it. Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, and the links below. If you want to subscribe to that handsome man right there, I'll link his YouTube channel in the description below. And as always, we love you to the moon and back. Big hugs. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.